right, here is the video review for Power of the Prime's Beachcomber. And right off the bat, he also, he came with Onyx Prime. He, a fearless, feral defender of nature is his power. Uh, there's his card art and the little Onyx Prime, although I have Onyx Dreadwind, so uh, I've got a couple of those. I think the only power card I have that matches with an actual Prime I have is Swoop. I got the Vector Prime Swoop, so whatever. Anyway, there's his card. Now, he's a little dune buggy, and I don't have any previous versions of Beachcomber. There haven't been a lot um, to compare him with, so uh, here he is, once again, with all four versions of Wind Charger. We've got the G1, the, uh, what is this, Generations, whichever one this was, Combiner Wars, maybe? I don't know. The one from the tailgate mode from a couple years ago. The Reveal the Shield version from 2011-ish, I believe, is when he came out. And, of course, the new Power of the Prime's Wind Charger. So, just to give you an idea of how he fits in with several lines worth of toys, there you go. Just to get an idea of how big he was. The original Beachcomber was around the same size as Wind Charger, maybe not exact. So, G1 Wind Charger, just to give you an idea of how much larger he is now. As you can see, he does have a seat for a Prime Master. We got Vector Prime sitting inside the, the seat. And uh, all you have to do is just open this up, pull the Prime Master out. He just sits down in there. This little tab for his little toe thing. Right in there. And then you can just peg these pieces back together to form the frame of the Doom Buggy. It rolls nicely. Nice wheels. Uh, the back wheels are pinned on. The front wheels are... This little friction clip on, and so there's a little disconnect between the front wheels and the back wheels, but whatever. I suppose I will live. And to transform him, he's actually a very simple transformation. You just want to unpeg these two, flip the legs down and around like this, fold these, actually go ahead and split the legs. Be careful with this because there's a, this is a very thin peg here. Uh, don't make sure you rip it. Make sure you, you want to make sure you don't rip it. Don't make sure you rip it. Please don't do that. I'm going to fold these back to form some heels here on his feet. Bring his arms out. Just untab them here from this. And then collapse. Lift this up a little bit. And then collapse the torso. And ta-da, he's a robot. You can fold this down onto his back if you want uh, to just keep it from sticking out, really. He's got a head swivel here. Ball joint shoulders. Ball joint elbows. Uh, no waist swivel, ball joint hips with a thigh swivel, and hinge knees. And I can kind of move this, I guess, but I don't know how much that's going to actually support him in several poses. But there he is in robot mode. He's got some nice tampos, paint and tampos here, and uh, as well as the Autobot logo there. It's really cool. He's a nice beachcomber. I like him. Uh, he's a good sturdy beachcomber. Like actually, the, the, all the legends, I'm pr I'm pretty down on. This time, or not down on. I'm, I'm pretty happy with down with happy with this time around. Um, Wind Charger, I think, is the weakest, but that's only because he has like a his head just still looks weird. It doesn't look as weird in person as it did in some of the early Toy Fair pictures or wherever we first saw him. But like, it still looks a little weird. Comic Con, whatever. Beachcomber, however, it looks like Beachcomber. I dig it. He's got little views on his back. I don't know what those are. And then just as a size comparison, here he is with his uh, wave mate slash. And you can see, again, you can see that she's a little bit skinnier and frailer. I, I, keep, I keep saying frail, and I don't mean that. But she's she's much more slender than some of the other figures in the same wave. Like, she's, she's, she's not as bulky. But yeah. There's the two of them together. And then just with some... Actually, you know what? Give me one second, I'll get Jazz. All right. So, I was, I'll do it with the Dinobots, too, but just to see him with the Deluxe, here he is with Jazz. Just to give you an idea of how he look, a Minibot looks with a regular-sized figure. I figured Jazz and Beachcomber would look good together, although if you want him with the Dinobots, we can do that, too. Do, do, do. There they are. All together now. Anyway. So, yeah. There is Beachcomber. Again, a good, solid figure maybe the most solid figure of the wave although with that comes a very simplistic transformation that's not bad i do think when i look at like i mean slash i can't really say because there is no real source material to compare to but i think she fits in very well with the dinobots she fits that aesthetic very or that design cue very nicely uh beachcomber just looks like a really nice beachcomber 
I think it captures the character very well. Not a whole lot of extraneous bits. Um, again, simple, simplistic transformation, but solid in both modes. So there it is, Power of the Primes Beachcomber.